So it's looking like Scream 7 is going to be a Sydney focused story. Let's get into it. A certain rule. Push the laws and you end up dead. This is the moment when the supposedly dead killer comes back to life. Not in my movie. Surprise, Sydney. He's gone mad. We all go a little mad sometimes. A very simple formula. You want to play psycho killer? Everybody's a suspect. No, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I want to be in the sequel. I'll be right back. Okay, I think it's going to go something like this. I'm Pamela. Welcome back to my channel. So it's been a little while since we've received any real Scream 7 news. There have been a ton of rumors floating around and I tend to not really make videos on them because I like to wait until we get something more official. It's been about a month since we received the official announcement that Nev Campbell is returning as Sydney Prescott and Kevin Williamson is directing, which I'm super excited about. I cannot wait. I think this movie is going to be great. After the whole fiasco with like Melissa and Jenna and Christopher Landon quitting, I do think that Kevin Williamson is like the only person who could direct this movie. I mean, Scream is his baby. He wrote the original script. So there's just no one better for the job in my opinion. But I'm also super excited that Neff Campbell is back. I was absolutely devastated when we found out that Melissa was fired and after that I was just hoping and praying that Nev would return because I felt like she is the only thing that could save this movie and luckily she's back but there's kind of been the question of whether or not she is actually going to be the main focus of the story or if she's going to kind of take a back seat like she did in Scream 5. Scream 5 was not a Sydney story. It was a Sam story and Tara. Sydney didn't really show up until the final act, which if that's the case, I would still be happy with that because at least we have her. But I just think without Sam to focus on and with all the fans being upset that she's not going to be in it, I think to focus on new characters would be a mistake. I do think that we have to focus on Sydney, where she's like the main character. And there's this rumor floating around that Sydney and Gail will both be the main characters, which I just need to emphasize that this is not official. This is just a rumor. But if this is true, I'm super pumped about this. If you think about it, we have not had a Sydney focused story since Scream 2, in my opinion. Scream 3, she kind of took a back seat as well. I believe Ned Campbell was busy filming another movie at the time. I almost feel like Gail and Dewey were more of main characters in Scream 3 and Jennifer Jolie, the cast of Stab. And then in Scream 4, yes, it was about Sydney, but it was also about Jill and Jill's story. Jill was kind of like the new Sydney, which was Jill's goal to be the new Sydney. Sydney did definitely have a lot of screen time in Scream 4, but it was definitely about the new teens, Jill, Kirby, Charlie, Olivia, Robbie, which I loved. I love those characters. You guys know Scream 4 is my favorite Scream sequel, but like I said, I think we have not had a Sydney focused story since Scream 2. So this will definitely be really exciting to see. There's another rumor that Patrick Dempsey is going to return. I do think that this is going to happen since he is Sydney's husband. Mark Kincaid is married to Sydney. They have kids together. That's another rumor that Sydney's kids will be involved, which I think is likely to come true. Why wouldn't her kids be in the movie? She's a mom now. So it'll definitely be exciting to see this new side of Sydney, something that we haven't explored with her yet. She's now a mom. Other than her pushing the stroller in Scream 5, we have not seen her be a mom yet. So there are people out there who say, what are we gonna do with Sydney? She's already been in all of the movies. We've already explored her story. But like I said, I think there's more to explore now that she's a mom. I've said here on my channel before, maybe she's going to struggle with motherhood because of her relationship with her mom, Maureen Prescott. After the events of 
the first three movies, Sydney is really struggling with the idea of her mom. She says, I didn't really know who she was at all. So I just think it'll be interesting to see her as a mom. Like I said, will she be struggling with motherhood? Has she learned from her own mom, like what not to do? It'll be interesting to see her with her husband now. And if Gail is also one of the main characters, I wonder what her storyline will be. I have said before that I think that she's going to be working on a true crime TV show. I feel like they kind of tease that in Scream 6. When Tara said to her, I heard you couldn't get the movie rights, Gail says it's all about true crime limited series now. So maybe Scream 7 will go back to Hollywood to mirror Scream 3, since we know these new movies are mirroring the originals and maybe Gail will be the host of a true crime show. I mean, I think she's the best person to do it. She's lived through this and she even knew the cast of Stab from Scream 3. There's also rumors floating around that they're looking to cast Sydney's two daughters, which like I said, will probably happen. Why wouldn't her kids be in the movie? And there might even be a little bit of a time jump because supposedly they're looking to cast a nine-year-old and an 11-year-old. Don't know how true this is, but if it is true, Sydney was pushing a stroller in Scream 5. So that would mean there's going to be a little bit of a time jump a few years, which I think would be pretty cool. I mean, Gail does need time to heal from the events of Scream 6. She almost died, so she's gonna need some healing time, at least a year of it, but it might be a bigger time jump than that. But what do you guys think? Leave a comment. Are you excited for Sydney and Gail to be the two main characters of Scream 7? Please give this video a like if you're excited for Scream 7. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell. Turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on any Scream 7 updates. Any sort of updates that we get will be posted here to this channel and you won't want to miss it. Please also go follow me over on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram where I post a lot more content. Please subscribe to my second YouTube channel and please consider becoming a channel member here on my main channel. The link will be down in the description and you can find the join button on my channel. Thanks so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.